I took off a little early today. It's about mm, 12 o'clock. Headed to go pick up my 94 Chevy Caprice that I bought. I uh, went after it on Saturday and it ended up being a little rougher. The exterior is pretty good shape, but the interior ended up being a little bit rougher than I was hoping for. And uh, just really didn't need the car. I got too many projects where it is. With the road being bumpy, I wish I got the camera shaking. Um, but anyway, like I say, I went after it on Saturday. He's wanting a thousand bucks for it. We got up there and I ended up turning it down, ended up leaving it. And the boy deleted the post and then his mom ended up re-listing it. And she re-listed it for 700 bucks. I'm like, well, I might go to work with 700 bucks. Made him an offer on it, 500. We met in the middle, 600 bucks. Pretty cool little car. Like I say, 94 Chevy Caprice. Um, it's either been a show car or somebody was fixing up for a show car. It's the uh, wagon version. It's got a six foot sliding rag top on it. Um, but anyways, headed to go up to Springfield to get it. My little brother, he ran over. He lives up there. He ran over to the people's house, picked it up, paid him. And uh, so now I'm just headed to his house to get that his way. But once we get there, I'll uh, do a little walk around of it and show you guys the new car. trim it's just paint sure that needs a window had all the seats redone originally this car was gray needs a headliner in it that's big six foot sliding rag top that's kind of one of the whole reasons i was interested in a whole darn car is because that rag top and that the seats and the paint's all right Kind of worried about that sliding rag top on the old Caprice back there. It needs adjusted a little bit or something. The, the front of it wants to be kind of right tilted up or raised up. And it may just latch a little different than, or supposed to latch a little bit different than it is. Um, it's got a center latch, and then on each side it's got a couple wing nuts or bolts. Um, that are supposed to tighten down and pull the front down. And unless this one's just set up different, then 
want to watch the video on here on YouTube. Um, it's, I don't know, maybe the, maybe the fabric is just kind of shrunk from where it wasn't latched properly. Um, so I'm going to have to do a little figuring on it or working on it. Which, why somebody put a white rag top on it, I don't know. Me personally, I'd like to have it black. I may end up painting the top of the car white uh, just to kind of make it blend in a little better. I don't know. It's one of those. A person could sink a lot of money into a cheap project like this. That's something I don't really want to do. It's a car. I only gave 600 bucks for it. And then I gave, uh, I think it was $800 for the tires and wheels. Twenty sixes. I went and got Monday for it. I got to do a little work to one of the wheels. So I'll probably end up with about a thousand dollars in the tires and wheels by the time it's all said and done. And it cost me about a hundred dollars in fuel to go get them. It's even like this car, as high as fuel is anymore. You know, for diesel for this pickup, uh, I got some today. Fuel I got today was four dollars and sixty cents. I think four dollars and fifty nine cents. Uh, it's ridiculous how high fuel is right now. And so I end up having about a hundred dollars, probably eighty dollars anyway, going up there today to pick the car up. Plus I had about eighty dollars in fuel running up Saturday. About four days ago to look at it and uh, me and the boy didn't come to an agreement on a price that day or while I was up here so I had to make another trip back to get it but I uh, whole little part of it but whether it stays red or it ends up getting just flat blacked I don't know we'll see I'm not much on red Sure, the hood and that the bumper they've got uh, vinyl wrap on them that crap needs taken off and then uh, paint them at least red to match the rest of the car and I'll uh, do some more videos on the car once I get it home get it cleaned up get the other tires and wheels on it show you guys some more on that sliding rag top which is pretty neat I might regret it having it just because of the mechanics of it I don't know probably be like driving an old soft top jeep probably flapping the wind all sorts of crazy stuff well we are headed home we've got I don't know about an hour to go probably guys check back in and uh, on progress on this old turd Let's see if we can't kind of revive it a little bit oh well you guys till next time have a good one